Hi, dear Libra. Welcome to your reading. This is Aqua Aura uh, 111. And this is your reading for the month of May 2021. Um, these are all general. So take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. And I wanted to thank you all for your new for the new subscribers, for the likes and shares. And let's get started with you, Libras. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ooh. Okay. So I do feel that you might be a little bit impatient, which is normal, you know, everybody is impatient when it's about love, when you've been single for a while. But don't worry, it's coming, okay? The universe is preparing something really good for you. Let's see. Okay, one more for my Libra. Ooh, see, I told you, Libra. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. It is safe for you to love at the bottom. Mm, okay. Love this energy. I'm feeling good about that. Okay. Let's see now with the Morgan Greer. This is the Morgan Mini uh, Greer Mini. Let's see. Mm. What is coming for my Libra? Libra, my mom is Libra. Uh, I love Libras, they are nice. And they are air signs. I am myself an air sign. Ooh, the world. Ooh. You know what? The world has came out for all three air signs. So you completing shits right now. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean there is a lot you're completing right now. So I'm proud of you guys. So there is a cycle that is completing, you ending something and you're starting something new. Why? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I saw the tower. Wow, yeah. Death. Yep, exactly. And this came out for Aquarius, I believe, too. The, the death card. So there's a transformation here in your in yourself, in your situation, in your love life. There's a transformation going on here, okay? So you're leaving something behind and you're transforming. There's a new beginning here, okay? There's nothing to do about death itself, right? They, I, we have the Queen of Cups, so definitely love coming towards you guys. True love, whoa. Okay. Ooh, okay. Phew. Um, this is here. Um, the Devil card. We have three major arcana so far, right? That's that's very strong. And we have Scorpio. We dress as a Scorpio full moon. And we have... Capricorn. Okay, let me tell you something here. Capricorn, the devil is usually karmic, okay? But I don't feel anything karmic right here, right, right now. Or you might have been dealing with the karmic in the past. But what I feel here, because we have Scorpio energy and we just had a Scorpionic moon, which is about sexuality, which is about... Um, also for me, like it's like um, being, um, you know, Scorpion people, they like to take care of themselves. They, they like to always smell good. So it's taking care of yourself as well. Okay. There's a transformation of yourself. That's what I feel. So, um, and there's a sexual energy, strong sexual energy. And this, again, this Queen of Cups here doesn't want to leave the bottom. So like, emotional. Um, yeah. See? This is again temperance and temperance here. All right, okay, I'm gonna take you because she wants to come out. Where is she? Where are you? Queen of Cups. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm gonna put you down here. Okay, because she keeps showing in the reading and she wanted, she wanted, she was sticking out, so I took her. So here we go. Temperance here tells me it's exactly here. Worth waiting for. It's, there's a, a waiting period here. There's a patience to have. Okay, there's some patience to have here, but the the angels here are working on you, on on your love life here. They're brewing something, the right potion, you know, together, putting making sure that everything is put well together to bring you a new beginning here. Woo. Okay. I have to take this and this right here. And uh, this is an um uh, you or another air sign here could be but you have capricorn scorpio sagittarius so far a lot of water signs mm -hmm. there's a waiting period but this person is coming though can i i'll be i'll be um using also the angel tarot here okay those cards 
putting one or two cards here. Yeah, see? Either you or this person or a universe or three of uh, all three of you guys are working very, very diligently here to bring this together. And look what I have behind. I have the magician. So definitely here, Libra, there is an energy here of someone, of someone, something, somehow, bringing you this together. We have the king and the queen of cups. Okay. This is a counterpart here. This is a match, a couple, a matching, okay, energy here. And at the middle, we have the Ace of um, Pentacles. So, which tells me that there's an offer, there's abundance, there's an offer, there's a gift from the universe coming to you, okay? But there's also a waiting period, you have to be patient, right? <laughs> I know, you don't want to hear about patience, Libra, but okay. But they're telling me also that there is some strong, once you meet this person, there will be a strong att attraction, strong attraction, um, physically, uh, emotionally, because you have the cups energy here. All, in all level, it will be very attractive, okay? So now I'm going to pull some of these cards here. Okay, just a little clarifier for my Libras. Clarify this reading for my Libras, please. What else can we add to the reading? What else would we want to know? Show me. Oh, generosity. Six of Pentacles. Wow. So this is equal give and take here, but this person will be very generous with you, okay? This is someone who, who wants to show you their true feelings, their love towards you, right? True love. Wow. <clears throat> One more? One or two more? Okay, let me recenter my car. Okay. No. Power, okay, enlightenment. So you will have some. Uh, ooh, okay, wow. Okay, the angel wanted the um, devil wanted to come out again, but I don't want to do that. Give me more, more of this energy. Okay, progress. Okay, two of wands. We have the two and the three of wands. So that yeah, definitely progress here. And drama. Why drama? temperance again okay <laughs> okay so um yeah there's progress so maybe this person is coming you you maybe you know them already uh, but there's a progression too in your life okay so there's a cycle completing and you you're going towards a new cycle and there's a progress okay you you adding some more candles to your birth to your cake right but they're saying also there's a knight of swords here. There's someone coming very fast. But here I have, the, this is the drama card. So, um, I don't know. The only you know why there's a drama card here. Um, just be aware, okay? And this is also sword energy. So, they're telling you there's communication also coming. Uh, so, maybe you have to try to communicate really well with this person before you, you move forward. In order to not be... Um, to not be uh, misunderstood if you deal in the past with a karmic situation, right? Because we want to avoid anything that is, uh, you know, mis 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 misunderstandings. Uh, <clears throat> we want to avoid drama. We want to avoid fights, okay? So, yeah, just try to um, communicate and make sure that you are on the same page with the person that you are going to meet but they're telling you it is safe to love the and the own romance angels open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so trust at the bottom uh, the next card so yeah th so i think there's nothing to fear there's another air sign for the drama card too so i'm not sure which one either aqua or gemini but anyway yeah so this is nice. I, I could feel it. As, long as, as soon as I saw 
uh, with where the first card popping up, I knew that there was love in the on the board here. And strong sexual attraction as well with this person. Alright. So let's get no no no. Not like that. Okay, crossroads. The divergent path, choices, confusion, follow your intuition. Yeah. So see, you have the Queen of Cups here. It's either you want or them. But you they're telling you also that you have to follow your intuition because you're guided by the angels as well. You can you have angels everywhere on your reading. <clears throat> you know what's best for you. So this drama card might be connecting with the follow your intuition here. Travel, movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences. Ooh, yes. Always be safe though, okay, when you travel at this time. Awakening and karmic partner. Okay, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions and realization, progress. Your, your twin is awakening to your connection. Okay. So for some of you, you do have a karmic here involved too, okay? You do have a karmic, so um, hmm. maybe for some of you, you're not quite ending. You're not, you're still with this karmic, okay? But you are seeing someone else, okay? I don't know. It will talk for a few of you, not all of you, okay? So uh, that's why the drama come from, okay? So be careful. All right, be careful and always be faithful, okay? Don't do anything that you will regret at the end. Libra. <coughs> I'm not saying that you are unfaithful, right? Uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feeling, but just um, it's uh, advice. Just be careful. Okay, if you enjoyed the reading, please give me a thumb up and make sure to hit the like, la, the bell button to have a um, notification on my videos serenity value quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence one more true love libra surprises venture down the rabbit hole true love is coming towards you worth waiting for you, I feel like you are um, still, there's still a karmic around your energy here, okay? Or it's a Capricorn, you're dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio energy or Sagittarian. But yeah, just be aware and then try to avoid anything that, you know, you, you will regret. Avoid doing something that you will regret, okay? Drama. All right. Libra, have a wonderful month of May, a wonderful spring, and I'll see you for the next reading, okay? Um, I love you. Bye.